Hello. Well, I saw Avengers Endgame. I even wore this to the theaters. Um, I was going to see it last night. I was filming this on, uh, recording this on Monday, which is the day I saw it, and I was uh, originally going to see it uh, Sunday, but. There weren't very many good. There weren't very good seats available to the theater, and I'm somebody who, when I sit, I don't always like sit back exactly. So, I, so being in the front, I would have kind of been, uh, staring up at the screen a bit. And it's not an IMAX, but it's the chairs are very comfortable, and you can lean back and stuff in them. Like you, it's like an electric thing that moves back and anyway it's not that important but basically you know um well uh, i kind of bring up the whole sunday and weekend now uh, because well avengers end game uh made uh, one point what was the number again hold on i just had it Okay, here we go. Um, I mentioned the weekend because, oh, it's changed a bit. But the uh, film, as of now, has made 1.223 billion dollars. It was 1.222. It's gone up a bit. And that's just for the opening weekend, too. So that's including also, I, I would assume, Monday. So there you go. But, yeah, I was uh, going to see it earlier, but uh, too many things happened over this weekend. And um, also, uh, for, before I even begin this, it's just, I'm not even going to do any kind of spoilers. No spoilers at all. Similar to what I did last year, though, I know nobody saw my Infinity War video last year, but whatever. Um, that the, basically, it's a brand new movie. It is one of the most anticipated, I think it's the most anticipated film of this entire year. No movie compares, really. This is the end of a... Uh, This is the end of, uh, you know, a chapter in the MCU. It's also called Endgame. And, um, yeah, I don't want to say anything more than I saw it. And overall, I, enjoy I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. I was kind of thinking throughout the day as to... After seeing it, what, what what will I say aside from no spoilers? But I don't know really. You know the the, the whole Thanos you know storyline is over, and things happen regarding certain characters, um, and I don't want to really say much more than that because. Once I get into the rhythm of talking with about someone, uh, I might accidentally say something that uh, I didn't <laughs> mean to, because it could have sort of ruined it for anybody who hasn't seen it. And I know my, one might think of a billion dollars. Like, what do you mean? Well, you know, uh, just because it's made a, a, over a billion dollars does not mean everybody in the entire world has seen it. There are people who will have a chance to see it on the big screen. So we'll just wait for it to be on video, and streaming, and all that. Might think, why do that? It's just how some people are. Um, 
And some might not want to go in the first week or like weekend or so around that time. They want to wait until it's calmed down and then watch it maybe into May at some point. Um, um, I can just say, being somebody who's seen the films from Iron Man up to, I have, although I haven't seen Captain Marvel, I, I hadn't, I did not have an opportunity at any point last month or most of this month to go and see a movie. Really, um, last month I did see Green Book, but that when I saw that it came out the exact weekend Captain Marvel came out, and too many things happened and. I just never had, I just never went to the theater. Also, for a while in March, it was quite snowy in some parts, on some roads, it was icy too, so it's like, you don't want to necessarily a chance something unfortunate happening, happening when going to a movie theater especially one when it's not all that close. Um, but I did see Endgame. I was always going to see Endgame, and beforehand I heard stuff that you do not have to see Captain Marvel to understand this film. And I believe that. Uh, some people were kept talking about that, or mentioning that, and I asked somebody who had... Like they saw, saw it and they said, no, you don't need to see this in order to understand it. Nothing will really affect. It, it is, seeing Captain Marvel will not really affect uh, Endgame. All Captain Marvel will do is just give an introduction to Captain Marvel. That's really it. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a prequel in many ways, to many of these films. So, you know, um, they, uh, there is that. Otherwise, I would have, you know, made a Captain Marvel video, but I didn't see that film, didn't have an opportunity to see it. Um, but, and speaking of Captain Marvel, I will just say she's not in this film that much. Yeah, I'm just going to say that. I'm not going to say where she's in this film, because she's obviously in the movie. She's in the po on the posters and, and trailers. and stuff. So, you know, people know she's in the movie, but I'm not going to say what all happens. Um, you know, seeing all the films, though, with the exception of Captain Marvel, leading up to Endgame over the years, and then seeing this film, it's like, wow. What was set up in the first Avengers with Thanos, and how all of these movies have been building up into this moment, it's really satisfying. It really is. It's... It's really just what Marvel did with this series was, was quite something. Um, and to how they're going to continue from here, I, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure. Um, no doubt, it's gonna. They're gonna uh, take it in a way that's gonna be interesting. You know, it's gonna be different. And, um, yeah, I, uh, I haven't really talked about the MCU a whole lot. You know, I guess I'm more of a Batman fan, so, you know, that sort of takes a bit more priority when it comes to superheroes and comic books on this channel. But I do enjoy the MCU. Iron Man, I love. I enjoyed the Incredible Hulk film. The Thor films I thought were, are you know, very good. Um, I enjoyed Captain America, th those films. 
I enjoyed Ant-Man, those two films. Um, Black Panther, I enjoyed the Guardians of the Galaxy films. Um, Spider-Man Homecoming, I thought was a fine movie. Um, and of course, The Avengers. All those films. Um, and seeing these films over the years, and then seeing this movie, it's incredible. It's truly fantastic. Um, no doubt, you know, of course it's Monday as, at the time of <laughs> me making this video. I'm sure by the time you see this on Friday, the movie will make more money and stuff, but it's, a, it's, an, it's an incredible film. It's really fantastic. I enjoyed it. I, I really do. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would say this is my favorite Avengers film. I kind of want to say yes, but then again, um, that's coming from me just seeing it recently. And, you know, I'm still kind of, well, r really thinking about this film. So maybe once it's out on Blu-ray and I can watch the films over again, I can, maybe I could judge if this is my uh, favorite of the four Avengers films, or if it's not. Um, it, it's quite the film, honestly. If you're an MCU fan and have yet to see it, go see it. Um, if you're not an MCU fan, you're not really into comic book films, superhero films, you know, obviously you might not want to watch this. Um, or if you're somebody who hasn't seen much of the MCU, but I've wanted to, I would say you, you uh, give them a chance. Uh, watch from the beginning, you know, the Iron Man films, you know, Iron Man, Incredible Hulk, Thor, Captain, um, <clears throat> Captain America, the first Avenger, and then the, the Avengers, you know. Also, Iron Man 2 was there. It's, uh, Iron Man 2 came out between Incredible Hulk and Thor. So apologies for that, but yeah. So that, but, you know, um, yeah, uh, watch those films, and that could be seen as quite a bit, but honestly, you know, um, that's sort of how this sort of thing goes with the MCU. They have certain films, so many movies, and they're called Phases, and Phase 3, I believe, is now complete with Endgame. And, uh, if you enjoy, you know, the first phase of those films, those six films, perhaps you'd want to give the other movies a chance. Um, or if you're not fond of those films, and you're not really interested in seeing the story progress, then, you know, don't continue. Um, but you know, if you if you want entertainment, you want something that you know is fun to watch, entertaining. You don't necessarily have to think a whole lot. Um, in this film, there, some stuff happens in it, uh, uh, particularly regarding time. That's a that is a key thing in this film. Yeah, I don't think that's really spoiling anything. I'm just saying that's kind of a key component with, with this film. And with that, it it could get a bit confusing. Um, though I wasn't necessarily confused, but um, I saw some other people discussing this film a bit more in depth, like for reviews and just talking about it, hearing others' perspectives on it to try and see how you know, what do I think of these guys talking about this? Do I agree with their perspective of some of the stuff that happens in this film? Or do I disagree and why? Um, and many brought up very good points for certain things. And one has to do with the whole time uh, component in this film that I just mentioned. Um, but, you know, 
you know, you could pay attention, and but it's not one of those like it's a mind-bending thing where you have to pay really close attention. Otherwise, if you blink, you'll miss it. Something important. Um, that's, that doesn't really happen with these films, really. Um, and uh, it's not like a Christopher Nolan film. Even though I don't have a Christopher Nolan film here, but oh, there's David Fincher. And, um, you know, some of his films are it's good to pay attention. But yeah, you know, no mind-bending stuff happens. Oh, also, Doctor Strange. I forgot about Doctor Strange for some reason. Yeah. Doctor Strange is also a good film. Um, but you know, I yeah, I, if you're curious about watching these films, just start with those films I mentioned: Iron Man, Incredible Hulk. Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America First Avenger, and then The Avengers. I know that could be possibly... That might seem to be a bit much, but that will give you a good sense of how the MCU is. They're sort of structured in these phases, and this is growing story at the end of Avengers. Because there's this thing with... um. They have, like, end scenes, like a mid credit sequence, and then a scene at the very end after the credits. And speaking of that, um, I will also just say right here now, the film is three hours long. But, um, yeah, they, uh, they, they, um, <clears throat> there is no end credit scene. There is no mid-credit scene. I will just say there is something you can hear at the end. That if you've seen the, all the other previous films, you might hear something familiar. And I'm not going to say more of that, because it could possibly spoil the film even though one can look at it as a sort of a callback to a film uh, early on in the um, <clears throat> MCU, like one of the early films, I don't want to say more. And again, I also want to reiterate it is a three-hour film. So... And it is a very epic film. It's quite exciting. Um, so I would recommend go to the bathroom before you watch the film. Uh, because otherwise uh, you might miss something pretty exciting once uh, the movie begins. Um, or once the movie starts at some point, you have to go and get up. You might miss something that's exciting. Um, I'll just say that. Um, and that's really it. That's really all I got to say. I enjoy Endgame. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, it was quite exciting, and it's um, the end of an era for the MCU. I mean, the MCU will continue, but really this is like the end this is the end of this chapter of the MCU, and it was quite a ride for 11 years. And a total of 22 films at this moment. It's really, really incredible. Uh, yeah. Anyway... That's all I have to say. Um, I do, I do like more stuff than just Batman, uh, you know. So, when it comes to comic books and superheroes, but you know, I uh, just wanted to give you my thoughts. I enjoyed it, and I apologize if this move this isn't that interesting. But again, I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen the film yet. 
as well as even to people who have not really seen many or any of the MCU films and might want to try and get into them. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about the about this. Avengers Endgame is really good. The cast, you know, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson, uh, Jeremy Renner, Mark Ruffalo, Chris Hemsworth, and all of the other uh, actors and actresses in this film. Because there's so many people. Um, but those are the original core members of the Avengers. Um, so, uh, for the first film. So, who have been in a recurring recurring characters throughout the MCU, so that's all uh, really uh, I have to say. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it wasn't too boring. And I hope you all have a good day and a good weekend, and we'll have a good week. So until next time, goodbye.